Hey, Abby, say good morning. Good morning. <laughs>
and not be late. It's all ready to go. Thanks. Pre-label stuff. Pre-label life. It's not a thing. Not even. Oh man, traffic is so bad. We're backed up like crazy. I'm never gonna get to work on time. Oh, lights green. Ready to go. Wow, made it to work five minutes early. Never thought it was possible. Traffic was so bad. Not really. Let's have a quick Jesus taco here. Today's passage is Matthew chapter 15. This passage ends with the story of Jesus feeding 4,000 people. Some people gathered to listen to him and actually this time they weren't just hearing his teachings but there was a bunch of people getting healed. People who couldn't speak were able to speak. People who couldn't walk, Jesus healed them so they could walk. People who were blind could see again. And earlier in this chapter, before he fed the 5,000 people with just seven loaves and a few small fish. Jesus is talking to some people about having inner purity inside of you. Some Pharisees, basically pastors and preachers of the time, came to Jesus and were like rebuking him because his disciples weren't obeying their tradition of washing their hands before they eat. And then Jesus turns right around and is like, you're not honoring me with your heart. You're just saying all these things and you're obeying all these rules you made for yourself, but your heart is far from me. And so I wanna focus on uh, chapter 15 verses eight and nine. This is a, a prophecy that Jesus quotes. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship is a farce, for they teach man-made ideas as commands of God. This verse is telling us that if we have made our own rules that we think are rules we have to live by, that God requires us to live by, we're deceiving ourselves. God has given us rules that we're supposed to follow. I mean, maybe there's some rules that you make for yourself like a rule of not going to a bowling alley. Like you've decided you're not gonna go to a bowling alley because for some reason it's a temptation for you and it puts you in a bad place. Whatever, I mean, that can be a rule for you specifically, but you're not supposed to push any of those types of rules on other people. Another one is like secular music. Some people think secular music is all from the devil and other people see music as art and they, you know, just like they would buy a painting from an artist who's not a Christian, they'd be okay with listening to music that's created by a non-Christian or a non-follower of Jesus. You shouldn't be pushing your own ideas of living on other people. That's, that's not what God is about. Like you can tell people what you're into, but trying to like force somebody to live a way that you want them to live and it doesn't necessarily line up with the Bible at all, that's just not the way you should be. We all have our own convictions, we all have our own things that we deal with and we have rules for ourselves to keep ourselves from stumbling. Those are things for you, they're not things that you need to be pushing on other people like these Pharisees, pastors and prophets and, and teachers and, and all that that were in Jesus' time, they had made like hundreds of rules and they wanted all the people to follow all these rules they had made as if they were rules that God had made when in actuality God hadn't made any of those rules. So this really pushes me to question rules, especially rules that don't really make sense to me or don't seem necessary. Read the Bible and find out what God says about rules and live a life that Jesus would want me to live and live by his rules and not by rules that some person thinks that I should follow. So as you go throughout your day, be encouraged. You can be your own person. You can live a life that you see that you should live, fit to live. And as long as it lines up with the Bible and you're living the way the Bible teaches and the way that Jesus teaches, I think that you're gonna go really far in life and people are gonna look up to you because um, you're not easily swayed and you are firm in your beliefs and you're strong, you still have fun, you still do the fun things you wanna do. You're not stopping yourself from, from doing those, those cool things that, that you're into. So hopefully that encourages some of you today and let's get on. Trying to catch a bit of this iPhone release. Doesn't support, great. Oh, okay, well, I'll just go on my Mac. Oh wait, 
doesn't support. What else do I have? Safari. This is my last home right now. This is the thing with Safari. It's just crazy slow. Waiting, 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 waiting. Let's go. There we go. Oh, there it goes. No? Yes? Has even started yet? It looks like it's gonna work on this Safari. Hopefully. We'll find out. Yay, it's working. Uh, let's see what this Apple iPhone is all about. A Belkin. I thought it was all gonna be a screen. So that's iPhone 8. It's a new generation of iPhone. Come on, man. On everything we love about iPhone. I wanted the full screen. With innovative technologies. Where's the full um, screen? The glass and aluminum design. The whole front the needs to be screened, bro. The new A11 Bionic chip. Whatever. It's one more thing. Come on. You know what I mean. We have great respect for these words, and we don't use them lightly. Our teams have been hard at work for years. The first iPhone. Oh, the video. You have to watch this yourself. You can't see anything on the screen. It is the biggest leap forward since the original iPhone. I gotta get that one. Hey, got a quick unboxing. This is quite a smashed box. I'm not sure if it was FedEx who ended up smashing this box up. It's probably FedEx. So great job, FedEx, on keeping your boxes in good condition. I think this is the Pride of the Seventies and Nikki's. And it is. There's the label there. I've been wanting these shoes for a long time. And I haven't been able to find them in my size for any sort of a decent price. So now I have them. They're really awesome. Silhouette. I really like the Nikes, and uh, this is probably my favorite color that's come out so far. And I am really excited. I think I'm just gonna put these on and just start wearing them because I like them that much. A lot of my shoes that I like, I just put on the shelf and wait for them to sell. But there are certain ones that are just so nice that I really have to wear them. And I don't have any Nikes yet that I wear. I'm excited to try them out. There we go. I was gonna show you guys me creating this poster. It's actually a giant poster. It's in this, this roll here. It's really tall. But man, today's just not the greatest because I've forgotten to turn my camera on twice now of me doing like actual work. It's all good. I'll show you the finished product here. <laughs> Both signs turned out pretty nice. So today was pretty great, got a new pair of shoes, and I did wear these today. Uh, well, for the remainder of the day. I went home for lunch and I saw that they were here, so I opened them up. I took off my Converse that I was wearing. Those, you know, they're Converse, so they feel like you're walking on, like, a rock or something <laughs> with a little bit of give. But uh, these Nikes, I gotta say, that boost is really great. It's not the same as an Ultra Boost. An Ultra Boost does have, I don't know, more support, and it's got that prime knit upper that's really stretchy. This, it's mesh, it's really breathable, it's not like constricting, but it's not the same as an Ultra Boost. Ultra Boost is like major ultimate comfort, and then the mid like sets it even to a new level, because it really hugs your ankle nicely. The Anikis, they're a little bit lower on the totem pole. Now, 
Compared to most shoes, like pretty much any Nike shoe or Puma or any of those brands, Under Armour, this shoe is going to be way more comfortable and you'll feel that boost, especially if it's your first time, you'll really feel it. They are definitely comfortable and they're a very stylish shoe and they look nice with a lot of cool outfits. I was glad to get these in and be able to have them. I've been wanting them since they released and I wasn't able to get them when they released. They sold out too quickly, couldn't click fast enough to be able to purchase them. Glad to be able to wear them. Anyways, I also got some posters made at the church that I needed to get done so that was great this evening was great with the juvenile detention center talking to the teens they had a lot of great questions and we had some good conversations about Jesus remember to always be constantly in a state of prayer always praying to God about every single situation and don't be worried about the future at all make sure to tell your friends to subscribe to this channel to get plugged into the Bible and let's keep the movement going, showing people that you can be into whatever it is that you want to be into. You can like cool things, you can collect certain things, and you can be a disciple of Jesus at the same exact time. So peace out, guys.